Are you sharing my screen? Whose title is Capitalize? So today we'd like to practice string methods. Some, some of the methods is already has already been introduced, but we'd like to just practice some of them. Okay. So if I like to uh, check if a string character, character string is uppercase letters only, you can use is upper. Or uh, it is, is it composed with lowercase letters only, you can use is lower. Okay, so that is two, two methods is this predicate, which means that they are uh, Boolean functions. They will return Boolean. So let me check it with your idol. Okay. So I restart your idol. And switch your screen to the idol screen. Okay. Here it is. So when you have a string, string one, whose, whose contents is Python, this is too small for you. It's getting more bigger. Python, then you can print it. Print as one, Python, okay? So you can check, is it composed of uh, capital letters only, large letters only, then you can check it as one dot is open. It's true, okay? But as one that is lower should be false, okay? So if you have another string, whose letters is Python, lowercase letters only, then S2 that is upper is false, okay? Since it is composed by, uh, composed of lowercase letters. S2 that is lower should be true, okay? But how about this, uh, this letter about language? The language name is Python, okay? But it is intermixed with lowercase letters and uppercase letters, uppercase letter. So if you have, if a questionnaire is upper, then maybe force, okay? Since it contains some lowercase letters. How about is lower, that should be force, okay? Since it containing, the first letter is just capital letter, okay? But if you make a slice, slice starting from one to the end, what is the result? Y then, okay, Y then. So if you have a slice to the end, is lower, that is true, okay? So that is obvious. How about length zero? It is P, okay? So length zero is up, should be correct because it is a capital letter. Okay, so you can check it for entire characters, uh, every characters, for every character in lang, for every character in lang, you may print it, print C is upper, then only the first is true and the last should be false. Okay, so let's check it. True, force, 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 force. Okay. And that is if you have a character true, okay, uh, sorry, for every C in true, true, print C is lower. That should be force 
true, true, true. Okay, since the first character is T, which is an uppercase letter, so it should be false and others should be true. Okay, so let's examine, let's go back to the original problem. Okay, capitalize again. So in this case, you want to take a look if it is lower Some of it is enabling uh, uh, your microphone and speaker again. So it is howling. So in that case, you should turn off your microphone or you just use a uh, headphone, okay? So in, the, in this case, it is composed of one capital letter and five lowercase letters. So is upper and is lower should be false. Okay. But first letter is an uppercase letter, it should be true. Second one is a lowercase letter, it should be true. So you should they should print false, false, true, true. Okay. So let's just check it with your um with your Visual Studio Code. So I'd like to open, open a file. Open a file from your laboratory five, up and lower. Okay. So let's just be sharing my screen here. So can you see the Visual Studio code here? Let, let's just uh, let's just resize this a little bit to make it getting more bigger. So it is more readable, right? Okay. So you'd like to check if your language name is Python, and you'd like to check the language name is Python. Okay, print. Lang is upper, okay, or we'll print Lang is lower, uh, to add your here. Okay, and you'd like to check the first character is upper or the second character is lower up to here, okay? So for the others, just ignore them, okay? So in this simple code, you can check that the result of the first uh, third line is just printing Python. Okay, fourth line should be fourth. Fifth line should be fourth. So let me check the result. So start debugging or learn without debugging, anything will be okay. So can you see the output, the first line is should be Python. How oh, can I? So let me check it again. And without debugging. So Python force force true true. Okay. So let's test the others. Let's test the others. So you'd like to check print lang upper. So either convert the uh, characters to uppercase letters. Print lang.lower. So either convert every characters into lowercase letters. But it doesn't change the lang itself because the language is, um, uh, the language name is a string constant. So it is an immutable object. Okay. So let's just check it. If you run this, the first one, uppercase letters only, Python. The second one, lowercase letters only. And the third one is not changing. Okay. 
So if you'd like to change them with after lang upper, you should save them. Okay, lang to lang upper. Then it is really changing. Okay, so you can check it print lang. Okay. So if you save them lang lang lower. Okay, then it is really change it. So let's save this and running this again without debugging. So Python then is really change it. Actually, it is not change it. You just make a new name. Okay, lower. Actually, it is not change it by, but the lang is redirecting a new object composed of lowercase letters only, okay? Now that you know that, you know all the things, so let's ignore all the things, okay? But you should make it for every, you should make another name starting from null string. So for every, uh, every index in range, length of a language, and then i is should be start from zero up to five. Okay, so if it is, if the modal operator is zero, this means index is an even number. Okay, that is, that corresponds to the, uh, to the characters with even index. Okay, so the first, third, and fifth should be uh, true. Okay, in that case, you'd like to append it. So this isn't just an append operation. So you can make it name plus lang i lower. Okay, else name equals name plus lang i upper. Okay, so can you guess the result? I'd like to print name after this uh, execution. Then it should be, so you can print, you can print a lang before the execution. Print a lang, it should be Python. But that means if you have an even index, okay, so let's check. So if you have an even index, which is the first character, it should be lowercase letters. So it, this should be P in small case letters. Since the index starts from zero. If it has an odd index, maybe second character should be uppercase letters only. Even index third character, lowercase letters. Uh, odd index fourth character, uppercase letters lowercase letters, uppercase letters, okay? So your output should be like this. Do you know what I mean? Okay, since the index i, if this is index i, let me just check it. Know that the index i is, is here zero. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if it is even, that means one, two, four. In that case, you just make it lower. Okay, so I just made it P, small p, small t, small o. Okay, for all the indices, I made them as capital letters, Y, T, N. Okay, so let's just check it. Save this and control F5. Can you see the Python, the original string is Python, but the output is alternating cases, lower, upper, lower, upper, okay? If there is an unclear point with this code, 
No? Okay. Then I'd like to switch to your uh, problem sheet again. And I explained, I explained this part, name and print name. Okay. So from the line 13 to line 19. Okay. So the, the, today's problem is capitalized. So write a program reading a sequence of words, not a single word, but sequence of words, and capitalize on them. How to capitalize is the processing to convert only the first letter of the word into a capital letter. Okay? So if you have a speak here, speak is the third word, capitalizing it, make the first letter to capital S. Okay? So is it simple enough? How about the reason? Reason is the last word and you just capitalize them with capital R, okay? So this is called capitalizing. But however, if the length of a word is less than five, you should not capitalize on this. So you can speak the reason. This is, if this is your input string, you know that first word the length of the first word is three, so you should not capitalize. So just ignore it. So you should print it you as it is. Okay. How about the second one? Can the length is three, so should not capitalize. How about the third word? The length is five. Okay, so you know that five is not less than five. So capitalize it with speak with with capital S. Fourth word is the. Okay, the length is three, so it, it is not it should not keep it should not be capitalized. How about the last word? The last word is reason, and the length is six, so you should capitalize as reason. Okay, all the others should be printed as as is, so the space should be printed as a space. Space should be printed as space. Okay. So let me check it. If your input is, you can speak the reason, then you should capitalize U space, can space, S capital, capital character, speak, space, the space, capital R reason, okay? This should be your output. So the sequence of input words is given in the single line of the standard input. And beware, there's no space at the end. Okay, there's no space at the end. So if you uh, input string is I love Python string methods, okay, the length of I is just one, should be printed as is, and space. Love, the length is four, should be printed as is, and love should be printed, and space. And you know that Python, the first, word, first letter is small p, but it should be capitalized because the length of it is six, which is greater than or equal to five, okay? And string, whose length is six, should be capitalized. Methods should be capitalized, okay? Is it clear enough? And the last example, print my favorite golden rules. Okay, print. The length is five, so it should be capitalized. Print with capital P. And space is printed as this. And my, the second word my, the length of it is two, so it should be printed as is. And third word and space is printed. Okay, so I just make a space explicit and with a different symbol. Favorite, favorite whose length is greater than or equal to five, so capitalize this. Golden, whose length is six, okay, should be capitalized. And rules, actually the uh, known rule is whose length is four, but you are not discriminating the original form of the rule. The only the word, uh, only the external form of the word is uh, five. 
the length is five. So it should be capitalized, okay? So the number of words and the length of them is, should be greater than zero. That means there's at least a single word in single line, okay? At least one word, one line. So your program should print the converted sequence of words. I mean the characterized words, sequence of words according to the rule and separated by a space.